Comparison of Class and Statutory Surveys First, let us see the characteristics of class surveys. Class surveys are conducted as per the rules of the Classification Society, focused on the ship's structural integrity and stability, machinery and electrical systems, and among other things. These surveys ensure that the ship is designed, constructed, maintained to the standards set by the Classification Society, which is a recognized organization of the flag state, the country in which the ship is registered. This is a requirement of SOLAS, Chapter 2-1. Class surveys are conducted periodically from design and construction stage and continue throughout the ship's life to maintain its classification status. Class certificate is valid for maximum five years, provided annual and intermediate surveys are conducted in stipulated time frame. Classification certificate, issued upon meeting the standards, is a prerequisite for the issuance of statutory certificates. Ensures compliance with Classification Society's rules and standards. These rules are complying with the unified requirement of International Association of Classification Society, IACS. As most of reputed classification societies are members of IACS, class annual, intermediate, and renewal surveys, continuous survey of machinery, CSM, continuous survey of hull, CSH, docking survey, tail shaft survey are examples of class surveys. Now, let us see the details of statutory surveys. Statutory surveys are carried out in accordance with the relevant international conventions such as SOLAS, load line, Marple in accordance with the national regulations stipulated by the flag state, the country in which the ship is registered. These surveys ensure that the ship complies with international convention requirements such as safety construction, safety equipment, safety radio, Marple, load line, ISM, ISBS, MLC, etc. Generally, the statutory certificates are valid for maximum five years, provided annual and intermediate surveys are conducted in stipulated time frame. Statutory survey ensures compliance with international conventions ratified by the flag state. This includes the requirements of SOLAS, MARPLE, Load Line, MLC, ISBS, ISM, etc. There is a set of individual certificates for various conventions slash requirements. Safety Construction Survey, Safety Equipment Survey, Safety Radio Survey, IOPP slash IEPP slash ISP Surveys, Load Line Surveys, ISM Audit, ISPS audit, MLC inspection are examples of statutory surveys and audits, which has to be carried out by flag state or by the recognized organization RO. For the clarity of the topic, flag state means the country in which the ship is registered. Role of flag states. Under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UNCLOSE, flag states have several key responsibilities. Flag state must ensure the safety of navigation and the seaworthiness of their ships. This include responsible for administrative, technical, and social matters on their ships. Maintain a register of ships containing particulars of ships flying their flag. Assume jurisdiction over the ship, the master, officers, and crew. Take measures regarding the construction and equipment of the ship, radio communications, and prevention of collisions. Ensure pre-registration and post-registration surveys of ships by approved surveyors. Must carry out investigations whenever another state reports inadequate exercise of control or jurisdiction over any ship flying their flag. Thank you for watching the video. For more marine topics, please subscribe the channel. If you want to know more in any topic, please add in the comment box.